I just thought everybody knows how to make bacon and eggs. It's gonna make a beautiful salad. Oh! See, I put them off where the coals are. So I'm making a potato salad that has no carbs in it. This is just a tip for you. When you get to the bottom of a mayonnaise jar, and of course I'm a mayonnaise hound, and so I buy the, I think this is probably a gallon. It's, uh, yeah, 64 fluid ounces. <laughs> and it's almost empty. And so it, to get all of that mayonnaise out of there, I start a salad dressing, and what I do is take, it's going to be a garlic, creamy garlic. So I'm going to use about five cloves of garlic. I need my knife, my French knife. And I'm going to just smash those garlics open. I watched one cook on television, and she did them this way. So dainty. I like to just smack them. So then I peel them, put them in the mayonnaise jar, and this these garlic, they'll not only flavor the dressing, but they serve as a, uh, it's like if I put marbles in here and I'm going to shake this up and they're going to bang all over the sides and it, get, it cleans, it, they act as a cleaning agent. So there they are. Then I'm going to put red wine vinegar. No, I want to keep this creamy looking. So I'm going to use just a, a white, just a clear white vinegar. Put about a, mm, three quarters of a cup. And then put your lid on. Now, I can't guarantee sometimes it leaks and gets on you, but I'm going to hope it doesn't this time. But you just start shaking. Hear those garlics banging against there? And it gets every single bit out. Okay, then, yep, I banged all that off there. Then, you, I'm pouring it in this small blender container because we're going to blend the garlics up. And I pretty much guessed on that vinegar because this is a cup and with those garlics in there that's just about three quarters of a cup of vinegar. And then of course we add the equal amount of, of uh, oil when we make the salad dressing. So I'm going to put that on my blender. Since I don't like to drive a car fast, I like to play with the blender. So I'm going to put the vinegar and garlic in. I'll use the same container to measure my oil because we're going to do about equal. This is olive oil. And then I use a whisk. And I'm just going to, I'm going to add some of my Ital Penzi Italian base. That makes a great addition to the garlic taste. And of course, I'll do a little Lawry's in my salad dressing and some pepper. And then you just start adding the oil and whisking. If you whisk, a long time it would start getting thicker and thicker but I I don't care about thick dressing I like it kind of runny but you could really thicken it up I never put my oil in the blender I would never mix the, uh, the, uh, the um, garlic with the oil because that would get it thick so I do it with the vinegar and then add the oil and that's about done Oh, I got one of those garlics. <laughs> it got caught in the whisk. 
I'll put this in a bottle. I like to look for pretty bottles in at garage sales and at the Goodwill, and I find them all the time, like this kind of a bottle. And I've got empty ones, so I'll put it in there. And that'll last about a week. If I don't use it up in a week, I'll use what's left in a marinade for meat. This blender is another must-have appliance. It's an old, old Oster, and I, I've had it for years, and I love it. And it has a big blender when I used to have smoothies, but I don't anymore. But I do lots of other blending things with it. It's got, I love the little one for dressings. Since I can't have ketchup because it's got too many carbs in it, I make my own sauce now. It's white, but it makes me happy, and so I don't miss ketchup. So what I take is, this is about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, about a quarter cup of real sour cream, a quarter cup of, this is Greek yogurt, full fat Greek yogurt, not low fat, full fat. So, mm. I'm going to mix that up. I would add chopped onions, jalapenos. Um, I think that's about it. I like, I like spicy. And I was going to add a little heavy whipping cream, but this is the, a nice consistency, so that'll be good. And that'll last me a couple weeks. And I put it on scrambled eggs, and I dip broccoli in it, and it's great for uh, dipping uh, those artichoke things in. It's just wonderful. Add a little salt and pepper to it. It's really good. The other thing you can do with this, if you get sad because you see a cake on TV or somebody runs by and they've got a cinnamon roll in their mouth, head for the refrigerator and just eat like a teaspoon of this. And it does something to your brain. It says, oh, we're okay now. And guess what? No carbs. <laughs> Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with. <laughs>